tell everyone, our viewers, um, kind of what it's all about and why they should go see it. It's a comedy about ping pong, and it's basically about uh, Dan Fogler's character who was a ch uh, ping pong champion back in the 80s and uh, kind of lost it and um, ended up working in Reno. And George Lopez, who plays an FBI agent, needs his help to get to Christopher Walken, who is a ping pong fanatic. Ernie Rodriguez, FBI. Oh my God, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to hurt that guy. How can I know that he had a bad heart? Okay, that's not why I'm here. Okay, actually, I thought that was part of the show. Until the paramedics showed up, I was laughing my ass off. I basically play the daughter of a ping pong legend whose father passed away and who's like continuing the tradition and she trains Dan to become the best player in the world. Yeah. Well, I thought that your dad played ping pong. Do not compare yourself to my father. My father was a great man. Not, it's just a game. Not. Just a game! Oh, it is a oh. proud tradition my family have devoted their lives to. So, do you guys, so, I, wait, you're watching the news and you see mm -hmm. this guy who wins mm -hmm. some ping pong mm -hmm. tournament, mm -hmm. and are you guys just, like, dying laughing? It's a, there's a guy, like, who in the 90s was the number one player of the world, and it was the first Guaylo, it was, like, the first white guy to, like, beat all of these Eastern teams, and he couldn't walk the streets in Japan. Like, yeah. he would get mobbed, like he was Bono. Yeah. And we thought, <laughs> that's hysterical. That's so silly. And he's, like, 5'4", and, <laughs> you little know, guy. little pot belly, you, would never you know. pick him out of anything, but he's a rock star. And we thought, that, that's great. Like, we love the idea of the movie. And then we thought, like what if we just take ping pong and set it in one of those, like, to the death, Van Damme, blood sport, kind of hard target kind of things. Randy Daytona is the victor. Randy! <laughs> Give it up! I cannot hear a word! Okay, so in real life, do they have to wear these hot pants, these Ooh, yeah. short Daisy Dukes? Oh, yes. I don't think they there's do. actually regulation. I don't think there's they, a rule. They certainly lean towards they, them. They lean towards them. You, you need to have a pretty good range of motion. Mm. with your buns to get, you know, mm. to get the rotation that you want. And plus, you know, you got to keep those ladies in the stands. The shorts, the shorts. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Those things were all the way up in Neverland, okay? <laughs> I was like, ooh, all righty then, you know? Yeah, speaking of ass. I love your ass walk. Yeah. <laughs> you like that ass walk? <laughs> that walk takes a lot of clenching, using a lot of muscles that don't normally use on a regular basis, clenching butt cheeks. And after a day of that, man, you start to feel sore in places you never thought you could before. Those hot shorts, whoo. Yeah, you like the short shorts? Yeah. You do? They're great. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a new look for me. I'm gonna start wearing that.